Southwest is changing up how you're going to get on the planes, but the people in front of you in line may still get the better seats. They're still going to have those groups A, B, C, but within those groups, you'll be assigned a number. Southwest will board in numerical order in groups of five. The airline's hoping the change will stop passengers from camping out in line. Right. The new system starts in November. But airline delays are at record highs this year. Jeanette Pavini here to tell us when your flight goes awry, it can be very hard to get compensated. Oh, it's what to do? Very tough to do. With flight delays, lost luggage, bump seats, we're used to dealing with the hazards of flying, but you don't expect to have them all happen on the same trip. I survived a very serious uh, cancer the last three years, and it was a celebration of my life and our lives all together. And this celebration of life was taking Leslie Rosenberg, her husband Harvey, and their best friends Jan and Gil Linver on a dream vacation starting in Istanbul. Because of Leslie's health limitations, they paid extra to fly first class. My legs cramp and my arms cramp very easily. But the celebration soon turned into chaos as one thing after another chipped away at their dream getaway. We spent a lot of money on this trip and it was destroyed for me. Destroyed because on several legs of their flight, they were bumped from first class to coach. A delay caused them to miss a connecting flight, and to boot, their luggage was lost. We went a week without clothes. So they had to buy new clothes and spend hours trying to locate their luggage. And when they tried to get help, they told us that they were going to help us and they didn't. The airline sent each couple a thousand dollars in travel vouchers, much less than the difference in fares between coach and first class. They owed the money. They should have immediately paid her the difference. Travel attorney Alexander Analik says it's a breach of contract to not reimburse the difference. But because the couples traveled on multiple carriers, each airline pointed the finger at the other. And consumers have little rights. We don't have a passenger rights bill for delayed luggage and delayed passengers. And as for the lost luggage, according to Analik, the first carrier is responsible because they have given you the baggage receipt. After Consumer Watch contacted the airlines, they agreed to send each couple another $1,300 in vouchers and said they would refund the price difference between first class and coach. Yet with all of the airline headaches, they did accomplish what they set out to do, celebrate life. They couldn't ruin the ambiance that we created for ourselves. And by the way, their luggage was also lost on the way back home. Now, according to Analik, some traveler insurance policies include compensation for delayed luggage and expenses incurred if your flights are canceled or delayed. He advises to buy insurance from a third party, not the company you book your travel through, and read the fine print. There are a lot of loopholes. Now, for information on, our, on your travel rights, go to cbs5.com and click on Consumer Watch. And you can also call our team of volunteers at 1-888-5-HELPS-YOU, Monday through Friday from 11 until 1. I'm calling you guys. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back.